with the 1.16 beta released and 1.16 around the corner and a very likely heavy strategic and tactical near to Sevastopol, this is the last time I, I really will have the chance to do this series. What we will be doing here is basically a let's play playthrough, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's going to be only a Sevastopol and two R3Ns, and I'm going to sell the KH-15Ns. We're pretending that the Sevastopol had R3s for whatever reason. You'll, explain, you'll get why later. I might do a redo of Kiva to, if I succeed, I'll do a redo of Kiva and I'll not load the KH-15s. I'll sell them whatever before I get to use them. Um, outside of that, it's just going to be Sevastopol. If I get any ships in the campaign, they will be as quickly as possible and with the least amount of effect positive, they will be disposed of. Now, selling is, of course, an option. Uh, however, throwing them into a garrison and then crashing them so that they don't even damage any of the enemies is very much going to be also be an option. I will take things like that. Whatever gives me the least advantage will be the situation to take. This does include running it away from missiles and having Sevastopol take them instead and so on, because that would technically be an advantage if it takes them. Anyways, without further ado... We're going to take campaign, we're going to take the new game slot that I have, my good old ADK. I probably won't use all that money isn't actually, well, it's nice to have, but I wouldn't say it's actually necessary for this run. It, you actually end up with a lot of run, a lot of money. We switch ourselves to hard. We go for, where is it, it's in 10k, isn't it? To our 3 ends so our 3 package, I will sell all parts that are not the R3Ns. We don't need the story elements. And we see what we got. We got a very close ER fuel right off the bat. Kiva is looking very interesting. I'm kind of just curious ahead of time because this is good old speedrunner habit. What we're looking at. Hmm. Yikes, this is gonna be difficult. That's gonna be difficult. Oh. Yikes. Alright. Well, let's get the show on the road. Um, alright. Ship works. First up, um, these bad boys can go. And for the record, there will be no armor editing. The armor pieces must remain the same unless they are blown off, in which case the only thing I'm allowed to do is replace them. I'm not allowed to intentionally remove things. Um, missiles must have unblockage, otherwise I could just cheat and put things inside. And I'm not allowed to change the hull either, just like the armor. Um, I am allowed to remove sensors, uh, missiles, and modules. Besides, I guess, the thrusters. I'm really only going to be cha like changing relatively minor things anyways, but you get the idea. Alright, so cage routines, they go, they go away. Ship sold, we don't get any parts, all we get is the R3Ns. We're not going to waste the fuel by carrying them around. We don't need fuel. Arm piercing 180, alright. No. Cinder 57, alright. Pretty standard start. Far northwest, so northwest trail is our call, but we will need to get back to Shubat, so... We could straight shot for Kuwa, but we're going to miss the Tarkan. It's only... what's his pace though? But he's free. Yeah, why not? So, the interesting problem with Sebastopol Run is, until you can modify a bunch of engines into it, which I'm not even going to do in the first place, you do not get any sudden strikes. You are pretty much perma-spotted, which means you're basically in a race against time to get yourself ready to fight strike groups and fight them in the early game way before you expect them to. Alright, two bodies. My aim is 
rusty as hell. in the first city. What a pain. By the way, I am aware I could keep resetting till the cows come home, but I'm going to make it a little bit interesting considering I've done this before with a bunch of resets. I am a nice person. So, we'll do that. Bunko Pops, unfortunate. Horrendous damage. To the convoys. Horrendous. Wow. Let's show gladiators can just fuck shit up. And the strike groups are already on the way. Yikes. What's the map situation looking like? Golbagaz is up the chain, though. That's good for us. We do have time to repair, and then we should get some 100 mm proofing in. And it's probably worth writing these down. I suck. I, I'll know the rest. I press shift. All right, I'm I'm off to an amazing start today. Failure builds character, or something like that, right? Remembering that aircraft munitions do not matter to me. City. There's no repair city soon. Right. I'll get some minor repairs done. I should be landing everywhere, but that's going to take a horrendous amount of time and be boring as shit, so. Wow. I had sensors blown off instantly. Absolutely pain. Stock up on stuff before we leave. Let's do standard repairs for the time it takes to get all this fuel. all that really matters anyways. Yeah, that, that would just be a waste of time. Fight two gladiators again. We're like turbo fucked right now. Alright, now we're, we're looking pretty normal now.
That's what early game's supposed to look like. <laughs> ah, two gladiators. Bimple? Mm, fuel. We'll do fuel. Free stuff? I should just let it go. Northwest of city, okay. Intel City, okay. My brain keeps skipping a moment and realizing I only care about 57 and 180. I don't even have power to some of the left sprints. do is get to the next city and then sit down. Okay. The real question is tack and strike or two tack? Yeah, strike tack. We are not off to a good start. Thank god I did strike though. Alright. So that's a change of plan. So we got time then. Honestly, that's not adding a lot. I really just want to get that bottom armor. Shit kicking here. Right, something here. Ah, we're in for such a shit shit kicking. There's no way they don't attack us in in sixty hours. Well, it's coming straight for the city, so he's actually gonna get here earlier than I expected. Ah, well, we're fucked. We're gonna get missile. It was a bit too optimistic of me to think I could do the minor refits before, I mean, after getting EPS. Honestly, why am I approaching direct? I'm asking for the missiles. We wait. The reason we're waiting is AI uh, enemy doesn't like to launch missiles if you jump them at visual. 
so my plan is to wait for them to show up on IRST. Wait for them to be bearish. I'm not gonna actually mount CI Divas, I'm gonna stay on 57 millimeter secondaries, so. I'm probably gonna take hull parts instead of the AD, so. No fuel? Okay, no fuel to grab. Alright. Alright, so first strike group fight went way better than expected, not gonna lie. Mm, four intel points. I could find the next strike group with that. It'll cost me like 4,000 gold worth of fuel. Fuck it. We'll find out the hard way. I kind of forgot the gear system. It's alright though. I'll give him faith. I'll give him faith. Courageous goes underneath. He lives up to the name. All right. Um, Genus worth twenty four hundred. Interesting. Um, let's go, crew prod survivors. Cabins. Genus will explode though. Seen the sun cap and some fuel. Alright. Tarkan. Ooh. Alright. Free Archangel worth of parts. Uh, it's whatever. Doesn't matter. We're just giving the man a pot. You have your pot, kind sir. You have your hermetic beard oil. Please give me your uh, Archangel so I can immediately disassemble it. Alright. As per the rules, the Archangel must immediately be disassembled or sold. I'm still allowed to keep the parts or the money relevant, but... Um, outside of that... For now, I don't have a big need of money, so I'm just going to actually stock up 
on parts that could eventually end up on the Sevastopol, so... I'll take a wing and the head worth a... Actually, I'll just take two with all the armor, fuck it. I'll take this one out. I'm too lazy to root around for the rest. Right. Seva needs a bit of a fix -in. I'm just buying out everything I'll futurely need, and then I'll work from there. It's always money. There we go. Okay, we got eight. Eight's pretty good. Eight palash. So, the idea really here is, um, the Sebastopol is incredibly cracked if you can just get a lot of palash stuff into it. Once we do that, we're kind of home free. Eight isn't enough. But it's definitely getting there. We're about to demonstrate why KK nerfed Palash in 116. Can I sit on the 20 right and put my like exposed hull? That's not the hole. I need a big repair support here. And actually, I think I see it. standard and then from there we'll do shit I'll take parts out that I know I'm gonna edit anyways all right I think I'll do low ruts just cuz it's out of yeah all right supplies is there anything interesting here no, not even 57 mil ammo. 180 mil incendiary. I'm never using incendiary. <laughs> well, those repair parts are disappearing real quick. Radar's not not fixed yet. IRS deal told me anyways. Our position will be announced, unfortunately. But I don't really have a choice. When we get to N Getty, I think we'll do the mass refit. I just realized I forgot what the hell that captain's intelligence ten minutes ago said. Uh -oh. Ah. Okay. Well, this is the part where we do the other thing that's common in the Sebastopol run. We run the fuck away. In this case, this is why we bought everything while we were there. running away, we have access to intel now. Ah. Weird. But alright. 
noted. Yikes. I suppose I never bought extra engines, but what are? We haven't stumbled across a D30 engine yet, have we? Why did it repair the central MRX? I told it. Oh, I did that myself, didn't I? Oh, we just got missile. I was hoping we'd be out of range. I guess he turned around. We got airborne in time. I don't even have proxy rounds yet. And like, I guess it's a good thing that I put the MRX in. Oh, come on. I shouldn't have put any trust in my 57 mils. Really just having one of those days. Right, it's not too bad. Uh, the main armor sections on the right and left side are completely fucked now, but... Alright, we're just doing the Sebastopol usual fighting from extreme damage. Um, I need to get some amount of repairs in. That's why you're not impatient, kids.
just aligning it because I'm rushing. Repairs, 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 repairs. This is kind of the hallmark of a Seba only run, is that you're kind of fighting time for the repairs initially because the strike groups are coming after you. What really was my stupid is that I didn't move the same rack initially. I completely forgot to do that immediately. Honestly, once that armor piece is repaired, we're good. So I'm just gonna do that. And hope they don't shoot more missiles at me. Then I can get my APS installed and go throw myself in their face. Hall inside right? I'm really just half assing all this. And it's gonna bite me in the ass. They're pushing me. They would be pushing me. I probably haven't reloaded missiles in this amount of time, so I'm just gonna be confident and I'm gonna use the time to repair. Signature. In hindsight, maybe I should have put cage 15 piece into my base. What? 
gotta see if it's off. That was a step up. Was that third? I felt like third strike group, not second. I guess it's because the Terran told us there, I guess. Alright, well. <laughs> 30 minutes in and we've still ki we've already killed two strike groups. We're kind of beating the shit up, but and we're not missing anything too expensive or anything. So, well, minus the primary radar. Actually, shit, that, that also means we've lost one of the big Elan domes. Mm. We definitely have an uphill fight ahead for st sure still. I'm just thinking here for a second. Everything worth getting is behind crew protection right now. I really should have gone after the Elan Dunn, to be honest. Taking a risk on the survivors. Brain missing. Alright. I think with that, we'll leave this for the next video, to be honest. We're 35 minutes in. Alright. So, we are two strike groups down. About to know where the next is. We've only really captured four cities. Sevastopol is quite beaten to shit, but I can say that I'm pretty confident she's got a strike group in her. Um, we have a lot of map left ahead of us. But we have about a fifth of the strike group. All right. Yeah, it's two fifths, but it's the easy two fifths, right? Kiva's gonna be the fuck, though. Alright. 